All the latest and exclusive on your favorite football stars. Get a front row pass on The Go Max Show. A blend of football and entertainment at its best. Sit back as we bring you street talk, fashion, music, lifestyle, comedy. You also get to watch your favorite celebrities talk football and even stand a chance to win cash and amazing prizes. All this and more on The Go Max Show. Hello guys, welcome to Max Reaction on the Go Max Show. On this show, I get to react to controversial and trending football topics, both locally and internationally. By the way, my name is Mac. Welcome back. On today's episode, I'll be talking about Super Eagles players that play their club football in less competitive leagues. Should they still play for the Super Eagles or not? For me, I think our players should have no business playing their football in less competitive leagues like the Chinese League and, the, of course, the Saudi Arabian League. With due respect to players like Mikel Obi, Ahmed Musa and Odeo Ngalo, uh, to an extent they really serve the country so well. But I think if we are going to progress as a great footballing nation, that we are meant to be, we should start setting standards for our football. What do I mean? There should be a standard that players that play in less competitive leagues should not play for the Super Eagles. Not because these leagues are so bad in terms of um, organization and probably the salary, but because of the quality of football that is played in these leagues. Because be for example, probably I can understand maybe he's um, he's already at the of course almost retiring so probably he can just go and make money and that's fine he has served in his, his country very well even though I, I think that his talent was really 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 not harnessed properly because he, he actually played for the wrong coach from the beginning in the person of Borio to be honest because the Mikel we saw at 2005 World Cup was not the Mikel we saw at Chelsea he was a number 10 he was a very graceful footballer who had flair but of course, Morio turned him to something else, which I believe no sane Nigerian should ever probably forgive Morio for that. But that, that that's in the past now. He he players like him because of his age might probably play in China. But I think Gennot Roa should be thinking about actually introducing new players in that his position because I think even as much as he has served the country so well, he's really really getting slower. Odiani Gallo, to be honest, I, I I still don't understand why he still plays for the Super Eagles. Because he even got fatter. You know, he, 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 I think he's one player that no Nigerian wants to see play for the Super Eagles. How he gets invited, I will never know. For me, Odiani Gallo shouldn't play for the Super Eagles anymore. We can encourage other young players that can actually play for the Super Eagles that also play week in, week out. Especially in competitive leagues. So for me, we have to set the standard correctly. If you play in France, week in, week out, you should play for the Super Eagles. If you play in England, Spain, Germany, Belgium, Switzerland, even Turkey, as far as you play week in, week out football, you should be able to get invited to the national team. But when you play in leagues where nobody watches, I, I have a Chinese uh, uh, friend who told me that Chinese football is very bad. And trust me, is not is not their area of expertise they might have the facilities they might have the money but they don't have the know-how on how football should be played and if we are going to have nigeria compete with the giants of football not just in africa but all over the world we can't keep parading our best players in china or even saudi arabia recently with musa someone will say oh of course musa just scored against Setius a, a, a few days ago against um uh, say choose for the nations cup, uh, nations cup qualifiers he just left europe don't forget that he just performed at the world cup 
probably Europe is still in him, but give him probably one year, two years, will he still perform at that level? So to, to really uh, uh, buttress my point, Nigeria plays against, uh, played against Sir Chews just, uh, in the Nations Cup qualifier just a few days ago. Igalo started that match. And Igalo couldn't even score from open play. The only goal Igalo scored was from the penalty spot. Sir Chews had a goalkeeper that should have no business playing football. No fat person like that should ever get onto the football pitch. So nobody, I believe nobody, I, I say it, this is my opinion, and I think nobody should ever in the world tell anyone what to do with their careers or what to do with their lives. They should choose whatever they want to play their football. But from the national team perspective, as Nigerians, because football is one thing we extremely, extremely take seriously in Nigeria because it's one sport that unites us as a, as a nation. And I don't think it's something we should really, really, really joke with. So there should be a standard. By the NFL, it, there should be a code or something. When you play, for you to be able to play for the Super Eagles, at least you should be able to play for proper leagues. This is my take, this is my opinion, and of course, you have the right to agree or disagree with me. Okay guys, that will be all on today's episode of Max Reaction. If you want me to react to any topic at all, you can send it to us using all our social media handles at TV. Also, your comments are so important to us. Also, stay connected with us at www.gomac.tv for more reactions. I see they all.